In this Star Wars Bounty Hunter news update video, I will be sharing with you some great news about the upcoming re-release. Before we do take a look at everything though, including the new controls and camera system, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future news updates on this re-release. So this re-release may have just been announced but we are already just two weeks away from release. It comes out two weeks today and Aspire have given us a new article detailing tons of requested information from the community. Back in 2002 when this game released on the PlayStation 2 and GameCube, it was a fun game to a lot of people but also had a bunch of frustrating aspects, especially when it comes to controls and the camera system. Well, a major question many fans have asked is, Will those things be updated in this upcoming re-release because it's coming to new platforms with new kinds of input and more? Well, the good news is, yes, they are completely redoing the camera system and controls. I've got all the details in this video. So Aspire put out this blog post on their official support website today talking about how that they really appreciate the incredible response for the announcement of Star Wars Bounty Hunter and that the articles, videos and commentary online has been truly overwhelming and they've carefully reviewed the most frequently asked questions and are excited to share a few more details about the game ahead of its August 1st release. But also later on in the article they talk about how it may come sooner, I will talk about later on in the video, but... Let's talk about first what exactly is this re-release. So Aspire say that they are working with the original GameCube source code and it is a completely native port, not emulation. They've been able to make significant improvements to Star Wars Bounty Hunter to maximise performance, so, so that includes 60 frames per second and push the visual fidelity to make this classic experience feel new and improved. We already knew that there would be improved lighting and texture work. Now on to controls, which has been by far the most frequently asked question on my videos and I'm sure on Aspire's social media. So there will be in this re-release two distinct control options, modern and legacy. So you're gonna have the ability to use the original controls or the updated controls Aspire have created for this game. So. That's great to see because it doesn't erase the original controls because if the modern controls is not something you jive with, you can go back to the old controls if you wish to do so. The modern controls have apparently been designed to provide a contemporary gaming experience aligning with controls found in many of today's action adventure games. We can see the layout here with say, the right trigger being fire weapon, first person mode is LT, jetpack thrust is LB, select weapon is RB, you have the new flashlight equipment option as the up on the D-pad, the scanner is Y now and such, and they've given this really awesome breakdown, this table of all of the controls per controller for each platform. So there is the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam Deck options available, which is very nice to see. It's pretty cool that they've included all of this in this table here so you can really take a look at which platform you'll be playing on and know all the controls before the game does come out. In terms of legacy controls, they are back just basically pretty much the same controls as Star Wars Bounty Hunter from 2002 and again they've included a layout for these as well so if you wish to use this old school control scheme which many people don't like then you can do it in this re-release. They do go over the main differences, so when it comes to firing weapons, it's just more intuitive because most weapons in games these days use triggers to fire. That is now the case in the updated controls, whereas the legacy controls does use the X button, for example. The flashlight and scanner has also been a big part of this re-release, so in the modern controls, like I said, you press up on the D-pad for the flashlight, and the scanner is Y button, whereas in the original game, if you don't know, the scanner is retrieved through the D-pad being up, and as for the legacy controls, you can still use the flashlight, you will just have to press the right stick in, whereas the right stick click in on the modern controls will lock on, whereas on the legacy controls, it's the right bumper. I'm glad that you've included the various options, so modern controls is probably going to be the way to go for most people, but if you really do want to go back to 2002 and relive those controls, or if you didn't have a problem with them, then you're able to do that with the legacy controls system. 
But that's just controller. The game is also coming to PC. And of course that brings mouse and keyboard support. So this re-release does include mouse and keyboard support, which we can see here. And as you can see, you've got the controls for the mouse and keyboard. Sort of what you'd expect, to be honest. This may be a fun way to play the game. It'll be interesting to see how it does play with these controls. Tied into controls is the camera system. So back in the original game, it was not so fun to use. So a spy have re-engineered the camera system to give a more modern, innovative and consistent experience. So rather than using the C button on GameCube, the game uses typical camera controls. So you'll be using the left stick to move and the right stick to rotate the camera, just as you'd expect. Now for cheat codes, because that was a thing back in the original game, but they've actually added even more cheat codes. So they've added the ability to skip levels using these cheat codes. However, they will affect achievements. So they'll disable achievements and the ability to save them, so things like that. So the cheats can be entered in the code setup menu nested within the bonus item screen on the main menu. And the code input mechanisms are the same for mouse and keyboard and controllers. And they have already given us all of the cheat codes for the various chapters and unlocked specific missions, as we can see here. So it's cool that they've done this and they've got some fun names to go with it for the cheat codes. On top of that, in case you aren't aware, if you've not played this game before, you have the ability to unlock various things in the game. So these bonus items are trading cards and a comic. And these collectibles are unlocked through completing levels and finding hidden items scattered throughout each map. Now, if you don't want to spend time doing that, you can actually unlock all of the concept art and trading cards as well. So as you can see here, these are the cheat codes needed to unlock those items. Aspire sign off with a couple of really interesting comments. So they say, Note, specific control schemes may change prior to launch of Star's Bounty Hunter on August 1st. This article will be updated routinely until details are finalised. So that tells me that maybe, just maybe based on potential feedback people have from this post, that they will change the control scheme even further. But the more interesting thing is that they sign off by saying, see you back on August 1st or sooner, pre-order Star Wars Bounty Hunter today. Now, what does that mean? August 1st or sooner? Now, the original release date is August 1st. They specifically say that in this post here as well. But does that mean maybe they will bring forward the release date, possibly? Maybe? Or are they talking about news about the game? But I feel like they've probably announced everything to do with the game at this point. There isn't much left to share unless there is one last trailer to share. Probably a launch trailer, which I'd expect. But it seems that they may not be referenced that. I don't know. Maybe it is coming out a little bit earlier than usual. Who knows? We shall see. But uh, that would be interesting if they do move the date. I would love to hear your thoughts on anything I've talked about in this video. So please do let me know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like. Subscribe so you don't miss any future news updates on Star Wars Bounty Hunter as I will be making videos as and when the news is released. If you missed any of my previous videos on the game, click on the playlist on the screen right now, and I shall see you in my next Star Wars gaming video. Goodbye.